Multi-way fill can be used to enhance a design and give it another dimension. If we look at our 1920s lady, we zoom in to the main part, we can see here that the arm, we've used the multi-way fill to accent the shape of it and also to concentrate it on the elbow. On her wrap, it shows us how the wrap is flowing over a body. If we move down onto the skirt, we've used multi-wave with motifs to enhance the skirt, again to give the flowingness of it. And you can see on the bag, we've used a single wave to enhance and to give that true 3D dimension. I'm now going to show you on a simpler design how to use the multi-wave fill. Okay, so first of all we're going to bring in a mini pick. We're going to use this floral design. I'm now going to send this through the wizard. I'm going to use the retain individual objects layer. And here we have our design. So let's just zoom into it. We can see that each petal is a separate fill area. I'm now just going to select the fill area, do a right click, up, up comes our properties box, and select the multi wave fill. Now if we just zoom into the top leaf, you can see that a wave has been put through this top leaf and that's just a default wave. Up at the top here we have two new icons, freehand tablet waveline and freehand point waveline. I'm going to use the freehand point waveline. All I'm going to do is I'm going to put a line down the centre of this leaf. So when we end you can see this is our line and the fill now follows the flow of that line. I can edit this if I want by just moving the nodes. If we move down to the second leaf, select, right click, first we'll change it to the multi wave. When placing lines for the multi wave field, you do not need to go through the object. So I'm just going to do one line on this top side, do right click to end. You can now see the curve of that. Select my tool again and do another line on the opposite side reflecting the shape on that side. And now here you can see how this, the shape will change from one angle to another. Let's just make the density a little bit higher. This way it's going to give the routine a little bit more lines to play with. We can see here there's a slight kink and that obviously is because of this shape. So this shape has to transform to this shape, it's not going to do it that cleanly. The shape's too sharp, so I'm just going to edit the shapes a little bit. So you can see it's very responsive and the shadow of the shape 
the better it will work for you. Okay, now let's move across to our third leaf. First of all we select, right click, change the properties, This time I'm going to do something slightly different. Select my tool. This time I'll hold the control key down. I'm just going to draw a straight line across the top. So you can see here is our straight line. Our lines are parallel to that. Then I'm going to select my tool again and draw another line holding the control key at another angle. So now here you can see that we'll change from this angle to this angle throughout the leaf. If I decide that I actually want some curve in the top line, we can do that merely by going to the Edit page, selecting Insert Points, click on the line, I'm just going to go back to the Create page. We can see the points. I'm now going to give it a bit of a twirl. And so we can see we can get another nice effect. If we want to control it more, we can add more lines through the object. So now if we zoom out, we go into Life View we can see what we've done. So we've got a beautiful effect on this third leaf radiating from this point, curving the fill lines along the shape of the leaf on the second leaf, and just a nice single curve on the first leaf. If we want to delete lines that we've put in, that's also simply done by going to the Edit tab we first zoom in, then we go up to our delete whole icon, click on the arrow by the side, find the new tool delete wave line, click on that, click on our line, and that will set it back to the default wave line. 